Alrighty, Rockhounds fans, we welcome you to the 2018 opening day <clears throat> with the visiting San Antonio Missions. It is our three game series with the visiting squad. And now we are going to get ready for our starting lineups. And right now we're going to choose our stadium that we will play at. <laughs> All right. So, let's get ready and present our starting lineups first for the visiting San Antonio Missions. Batting first in third base is Rodney Schmidt. Schmidt in first. <clears throat> Designated hitter is Rich Tippett. Tippett, the DH. Third baseman, first baseman, Thomas Good. Good at first. Center fielder, Adolfo Tejeda. Tejeda at center. Left fielder, Jeff MacArthur, will bat fifth for the San Antonio Missions. MacArthur at left. Catching is Tyrone Adorno. Adorno catching. <clears throat> Shortstop Freddie Newcomb. Newcomb at short. Right fielder Herschel Imro. Imro at right. Second baseman Tom Bergeron. Bergeron at second. The starting missions pitcher for this evening Eli Becerra, Becerra tonight's San Antonio Missions pitcher. <clears throat> and now let's get ready for your West Texas Midland Rockhounds. Batting first in center field is Tommy Brown. Brown at center. Designated hitter is Corey Lovett. Love it, the DH. First baseman is Matt Olson. <clears throat> Olson at first. Catching is Matt McBride. McBride catching. Second is Bryant Lopez. He'll bat fifth for the Rockhound order. Lopez at second. Carlos Reyes will bat six for the Midland Rockhounds. Reyes at third. <clears throat> Left fielder Owen Lamb. Lamb batting seventh. Right fielder is Will Nixon. Nixon at right. Shortstop Rich Cedeno. Cedeno at short. <clears throat> Starting Midland Rockhounds pitcher. Felix Guillen, Guillen, starting Rockhounds pitcher. And that is tonight's starting lineups. Under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of baseball on MLB Network. Tonight we've got a good matchup in store between the San Antonio Missions and the Midland Rockhounds. Major League Baseball on MLB Network coming up right after this. Felix Guillen, the right-hander from the state of Wisconsin, is on the mound here. What's your take on him, H? Well, he's got four pitches to work with and uses them all at all different times in the game. So he keeps hitters off balance and gives you a lot to think about. Now with the plate, Rodney Schmidt. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Third baseman, Rodney Schmidt. 
Schmidt. And a swing and a miss, so a first pitch strike is well underway here this evening. <coughs> Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, and the leadoff man is gone to start the evening. And now we'll look at the starting lineup for the visitors in this one. What's this lineup have to do tonight in order to get a W here on the road, HR? Matt, I tell you what, the wind blowing out is such a psychological advantage for the hitter. But you really have to focus on what you're doing, because you know if you hit a ball and it catches into the right wind current, it could go out of the ballpark. So you really have to bring it back. Concentrate on, stay on the ball, don't overswing, stay within yourself because you know now you don't have to supply as much power. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Lamb is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Batting third, first baseman, Thomas Good. Into the box now, Thomas Good. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Here's a fastball chop foul at the plate at strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. Goes the other way with it as this is in the air down the line in left. Lim is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So a relatively routine start for the top of the first here. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Eli Becerra, the Puerto Rican southpaw, gets the starting assignment here. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, you don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three. But if you can master five like he has, he'll be in pretty good shape. Stepping into the box, Tommy Brown. It lead things off here in the bottom Leading half of the first. The Center fielder, Tommy Brown. Swing and a line drive. And this will get over his outstretched glove. A great effort there, but it's a base hit. Well, Matt, if you ask me how to start a game, you want your pitcher to throw a 1-2-3, which he seven. did the top half, Daddy and then your leadoff guy gets a single. That's Love a recipe it. for success. Stepping in now, Corey Lovett, a shot down the first baseline. The second for one, on to first, and they get the double play. And with that, here's a glance at the starting lineup for the home squad. What's the key for them tonight, Harold? Matt, this is going to be a pitcher's duel. I mean, both these guys have a chance to work deep in the game. They've shown they can do that. Runs are a premium. I think if you don't get them early, we may not see a lot of runs in this game at all. So stepping in, Matt Olson. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. Into the windup and the pitch. Hit hard on the ground to second. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. So he picks on the first pitch here and is able to extend the inning. Well, that's good hitting. Oh, and oh, you want that fastball right where you're looking at it. Just take it right back at him. Nice swing. Into the box, Matt McBride. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. Here comes the 0-1. Chop foul at the plate here, and it's 0-2. Line drive to left. In there, the base hit.
Into the box. Bryant Lopez looking to make it three straight two out hits here. He's got a runner in scoring position at second. First delivery to him on the way. Here's a hard hit ball that will be caught out there at short. Almost big trouble there, but he'll wind up stranding two as the side is retired. Digging in the switch hitter, Adolfo Tejeda. He'll lead it off here to begin the second. Into the windup and the pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. Just getting blown away so far. No reason to throw anything else to speed up his bat. Just stay right there. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. Throw to first to be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Time for a look at a majestic defensive line for the home team. I'm focusing on the third baseman. I love the fact that it's hard to bunt on him. He'll come and take it. Bare hand plays with the best of them. He's got great range and tremendous hands and footwork. Now with the plate, Jeff MacArthur. Here comes the first pitch. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Oh, one pitch on its way. A swing and a miss on a ball that jammed him. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove, and he's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Well, I think he got away with one right there. It was a fastball right down the middle, and he hit it hard, but he couldn't elevate it at all. Would have been a different story if he did. Coming to the plate now, Tyrone Adorno. First pitch of the at-bat. Thought he had the inside corner that time, but it missed for ball one. No score here as we play inning number two. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. McBride has a play, and that's the third out. Nothing doing here this half. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two, and we are tied nothing-nothing. So striding forward now, Carlos Reyes. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. Grounded foul toward the coaching box at third. Here's the 0 1 pitch. And this is fouled at the plate. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Little dribbler down the line. That's a foul ball. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. Here comes another 0-2. Soft liner towards short. A diving try, but it's through into the outfield. Well, if you like offense, this is the game to watch. Second inning with the leadoff single. They've already got four hits so far in this game. The offense is clicking. Lamb. Into the box now. Owen Lamb. Weak chopper up the line. There's one. Out. Return throw is in time, and what do you know? They do get the double play. That's a great example right there of Taylor. why the sinker Will is such an effective Nixon. pitch. The hitter's eyes see it higher in the zone than it ends up, and that makes it real tough to square up. In now, Will Nixon. 
as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball 0 and 1 he'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. The 0 and 1 delivery hit hard towards center and that finds some outfield grass it's a base hit so the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two out base hit. Now at the plate, Rich Cedeno. Rich Cedeno. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And a half-hearted swing there as he tried to go the other way, and it's strike one. Not much to say about that swing other than it should have never happened. Now we'll snap one off over to the bag. And the runner back in standing. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 2. Working for the punch out and the offering. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. Well, he had two strikes on the hitter. Perfect count to put him away. Tried to elevate the fastball. Just didn't get it up there enough. Brown. Stepping in now. Tommy Brown. He grabs it sharply to third. And now from the air, a jump throw. And a close play at the bag, but a good stretch by the first baseman got the out, and the inning is over. Striding into the box, Freddie Newcomb. He's the number leading seven the hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six Freddie guys in the lineup Newcomb. have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Really good late fight on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Into the box, Herschel Imro. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. We're seeing him in an absolute groove out there in the mound right now. Retired seven straight, and mechanically, he looks really consistent and fluid to me. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Nixon coming on. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Second baseman, Tom Bergeron. Stepping in, Tom Bergeron. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. Into the windup and the pitch. Hey. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. He looks really strong here early in this game, and that fastball is a good example. Put that thing in a great spot and right where he wanted it. Now the 0-1. Sent on the ground out to second. Lopez is there. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Make it nine straight here to start the ball game. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three, and we are tied nothing nothing. Striding in once again, Corey Lovett. Leading off for one line. here in the early going. Designated hitter, Corey Lovett. First pitch of the at bat. 
line drive to center field. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. So an inning opening single kicks off their half of the third. Well, you make in-game adjustments, right, Matt? I mean, they've had a hard time scoring. Right here, he jumps on the first pitch to get things going, so I see a little bit of a change. Maybe this is how they jumpstart their offense for the rest of the game. Ready for another chance? Matt Olson, a base hit in his first trip. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hit in the air to left field. MacArthur moving to his left. Looks it into his glove. And there's one gone. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. The batter. Catcher. Matt McBride. Digging in for his second at bat. Matt McBride. One for one after a single his first time up. Hit on the ground to third. He's got it. One there on the first. And they've grounded into double plays now in three successive innings as the side is retired. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. Three innings in the books. No score on MLB Network. Standing in, Rodney Schmidt back to the Leading top of the lineup the as they're still looking Larry for their Bateman. first base runner in Rodney. this one. No doubt about Schmidt. that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. Straight away right. Nixon has a read on it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now batting, designated hitter, Rich Tippett. Digging in to try it again. Rich Tippett comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Into the windup and the pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Now batting, the first baseman, Palmer. Good. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Thomas Good. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Lamb ranging back. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Can't start any better than this. He's set down the first 12. On now to the bottom half of inning number four, and we are tied nothing-nothing. Stepping into the box. Bryant Lopez, 0 for 1 Second for him here in this one. Bryant. First pitch Lopez. of the at-bat. Just a tick behind for a strike. Well, one. if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Oh, you have to love it. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low-scoring pitcher's duel for once. Now a flare out toward right center. Imro moving in. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Now batting, third baseman, Carlos Reyes. Stepping up to the plate, Carlos Reyes. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he makes good contact there, but this is going to find the stands foul down the right field line. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. A great job of changing speeds there. It's 0-2. The lineup top to bottom looks like they have no approach or game plan whatsoever. It's like they're deciding to swing before the pitch is even coming out of the pitcher's hand. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. And he makes the throw to first. Reyes 
Has retired two down right now. Fielder. Well, you Number know you two. made a real nice pitch when Owen you bounce it in the dirt Lamb. and you still get the hitter to swing at it. That tells me that there's a lot of deception in that pitch right now. Standing in now, Owen Lamb. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Here comes the 0-1. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Imro is after it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Digging in, Adolfo Tejeda Leading comes into pitches. this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Adolfo Tejeda. Uh, had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. The windup and the 0-1. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Nixon racing back at the track. The wall gone to lead off the inning. A solo shot here to straight away right field. As they get on the board first, it's one to nothing. Well, he tried to sneak a fastball by him, and like they always say, you can't sneak the cheese by the rat, particularly if it's up high like that one right there. Into the box now, Jeff MacArthur. He'll swing and lift the ball fouled off to the left and out of play. Man, he's flirting with danger. He gave up a home run on that very same pitch, and this time he comes right back with it in another dangerous location. He better be careful. Don't know what he's waiting for there. It's 0-2. Bases are empty here. Nobody out. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Hey, every pitcher gives up home runs, some more than others, but the best ones forget about them as soon as the next guy digs into the batter's box. He showed me a lot right there by going after the next hitter and striking him out on only three pitches. In now, Tyrone Adorno. As he'll take a look at ball one. He popped out in his first trip. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Lim has a beat on it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now batting. Short stuff. Freddie Newcomb. At the plate, Freddie Newcomb. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Swung on and missed. Outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Here we are in the middle innings, Matt, and he's over 80% first pitch strikes on hitters. You wonder why he's dominating right now. That's a great ratio. Getting ahead and getting them out. Oh, he looks like he's toying with him here. It's 0-2. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Another 0-2 coming. And another foul ball. Here's another 0-2. Great three called, and the inning is over. So just the one hit in the inning, but it's a home run that pushes him out in front. Last half of the fifth coming up. The missions lead it one to nothing. At the plate, Will Nixon. He'll start Leading things out in the right home now. half of inning number five. Right fielder, Will Nixon. 
And this is cut on and missed below the knees, and it's 0-1. Matt, I tell you what, I love how he's pitching right now. He has continued to pound that first pitch for strikes. When you do that, you set yourself up for great success. And he'll step on first for the out, the three unassisted. Nine, well stop, executed two rich, seamer on the outside Virginia. corner that time, and, and that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over it. So striding in, Rich Cedeno. Here comes the first pitch. Popped up, good, is there for it. And that's the second out of the inning. The batter, center fielder, Tommy Brown. Ready now, Tommy Brown. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. First delivery to him on the way. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. With two outs, they're not playing him to bun here, and he didn't show it there, but I wouldn't be surprised if he wasn't at least thinking about it. He handles the bat pretty well, and he can definitely run. And he's safe at first as he beats this one out by about a half a step. You want to talk about speed? Watch him here on this isolation replay. Is he flying or what? I love how smooth he runs, and he just burst it down the line. Into the box, Corey Lovett. And a pitch out, nothing doing though, and that's ball one. And he'll step off the rubber and go to first. And he's back standing. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. And they pitch out here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. Two and 0 pitch on the way. Fastball that he's way out in front of. A swing and a miss. Ready to deal. Here's the 2 1. Started that swing a bit too early. Boy, Matt, he's in some kind of groove, and they better get something working because he is one pitch away from throwing five shutout innings. Talk about dominant work so far. Two out with the man at first. Hit sharply on the ground. And this is knocked down over there. And the recovery won't be in time as he'll beat the throw to first. Ready for another shot now. Matt Olson as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Not his best effort that time. It's strike one. Well, Matt, they've been real aggressive, taking swings early in the count, but you're losing in this game, so you got to make an adjustment. you got to start taking pitches and maybe working the pitch a little bit more if it's not working, being aggressive. It's swung on and hit in the air. Tejeda giving chase. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Leading Herschel Imro. 0 for 1 right for him here in this one. Herschel Imro. First offering on its way. And this is Pop fouled off to the right and back into the seats. He swings at the fastball here and lifts it into the air to shallow center. And that'll get down for a base hit. Digging in for his second at bat, Tom Bergeron comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. He goes the other way as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. Nixon moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for at number one. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. And this will prove to be a heads-up play at first as he tags up and moves into scoring now, position now. 
third baseman Rodney Schmidt digging in to try it again Rodney Schmidt he comes in 0 for 2 thus far first pitch coming here it is and he takes a pitch right down the middle boys we see the pitch count it's hard to remember the last time we saw a guy pitch this efficiently yeah Matt it's incredible to watch him go after guys he's forcing a lot of early contact and they haven't done a whole lot with the balls they put him play against it there's a swing and he sends the ball high in the air into left field but he's going to get there as he runs it down on the warning track for the second out of the inning and he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning the batter number four <coughs> designated hitter Rich ready for another Tippett. shot now Rich Tippett he's 0 for 2 thus far in this one looking to keep this a one run game the pitch first pitch hack in here and that's the first strike. Working to keep them in the game here. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Chopped weakly to the left. Throw to first, not in time as the run is across to score. Well, Matt, that ball wasn't hit very hard. Two strikes, you're just trying to battle. Now Put batting. the ball in play, so first, and he gets a bonus when you Tom drive man. in the run as well. Cool. So I love that at bat. Digging in once again, Thomas Good. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Hit on the ground out to short, and he'll go to short play to retire the side. So a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. To the bottom of the sixth we go. Four, five, and six coming up. San Antonio's out in front. Two to nothing. Ready once again, Matt McBride. He's one for Leading two in the, the ball game. Now. Catcher, Matt McBride. First pitch changeup chopped foul right at the plate for the first strike. And we see a lefty and a right hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. Line to the right side. Imro is there, one away. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Into the windup and the pitch. Bryant Lopez swings and misses there, so he's down 0 and 1. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today, and it's really working. Here's the first pitch to him. Line toward right center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with the single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but... There he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they could get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. Stepping in now, Owen Lamb. As he swings and grounds it toward the hole. And try as he might, but he can't escape the tag there, and the inning is over. Danger averted following the two-out double. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Back here for Texas League Baseball on MLB Network. Seventh inning straight ahead, but first let's take a look at the game summary for the first six innings of baseball. 
digging in and looking for more. Adolfo Tejeda. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Brown is there. And that's the first out of the inning. Now batting, left fielder, Jeff MacArthur. Digging in, Jeff MacArthur. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Into the windup and the pitch. Lofted in the air out to right field. Nixon is there, two down. Now batting, catcher, Tyrone Adorno. Ready for another chance, Tyrone Adorno, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Swing and a miss, 0 and 1. Matt, this is getting a little ridiculous. That strike right there puts him at 90% of hitters he's thrown first pitch strike to. You do that, yeah, you're going to dominate lineups. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. <laughs> that was a good pitch to hit. He wants that one back. He was just a little bit late on it. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Three. Now he drops a changeup on him. Strike three called. And a great pitch there to retire the side. It's time for the traditional seventh inning stretch. Coming to the plate now, Will Nixon. One for two on his line so far in the game. Will Nixon. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ground ball sent back up the middle. To his left, Newcomb. And safe at first as the first baseman couldn't get the foot back in time. And we'll see how they want to score that. Rich Cedeno. Now to the plate, Rich Cedeno. He represents the potential tying run if he can launch one or find a way around the bases. Yeah, Matt, I kind of doubt he's thinking about going yard, even though that would be... Meanwhile here, this is going to be trouble out there in left center as it ought to be good for extra bases. The relay, and he is in there. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. Yeah, they've been stymied so far on this one. But they've strung together a couple Brown. hits and are poised to finally break through. A base hit to the outfield, and we've got the makings of something special working here. Standing in now, Tommy Brown hit weakly back to the mound. A quick out number one. Now batting, the designated hitter. Striding in once Corey again, Corey Lovett. Lovett is looking for hit number three here in this at-bat. Here comes the first pitch. Line drive to center field. And that will get down as he delivers a big one here. It's a base hit. The cash in here as the run is in to score from third. That's a big base hit right there. Now you've moved the tying run to third base with just one out. And there's a lot of things the offense can do now. Will they sack bunt? Will you get a sacrifice fly? Would they steal the runner from first and first and third maybe still? Matt, this is so exciting. There's so many possibilities. Now time called here as the manager pops out of the first base dugout. And we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter Your here tonight. Play. Now pitching for San Antonio. So they'll make a matchup Number move here and bring on a southpaw Will to face the left-handed hitter due up. Ludwig. 
And he'll snap one over to Kurt. Back in standing. Into the box now. Matt Olson. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. One or no delivery. And he's in front of a tight little slider that time. Well, that slider right there, that's what makes him tough against the left handers. That pitch is almost impossible to hit. Now a snap move hey. over to first. And he's back in standing. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. A swing and a miss at the good old Uncle Charlie. With two strikes and the runners at the corners, this is a big pitch coming up. Got to execute to hope to either get a strikeout or a double play ball to help you get out of this thing. Offering on its way. Hit on the ground out to short. He's right there. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. So two runs on four base hits, no errors, and one man left on base. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now, and we are tied 2 2. Digging in, Freddie Newcomb. Leading out 0 for, for 2 Antonio. with a couple of strikeouts Georgia. for him so far. Freddie Newcomb. Fastball and he swings through it to fall behind. He's been getting ahead in the count all game long. I think the key has been working off his fastball. Swinging a ball, hit on the ground. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Not a lot of offense to go around, but a very tightly contested ball game. 2-2 our score here in the eighth as it's starting to look more like one run may be enough to win this one. Settling in now, Herschel Imro. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Into the windup and the pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Nixon is right there as he takes it for the second out. The batter, second baseman, Tom. Now at the plate, Bergeron. Tom Bergeron. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Hit to short. Does he have another one, two, three inning? He does. Seven in a row. He's set down now at the side is retired. Your Bobby Corey is on to pitch out of the Santa bullpen Antonio. in the bottom half of the Number eighth. 14. Bobby Corey. Bryant Lopez will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. Bryant Lopez. Swing and a loop of the mouth. MacArthur moving in, but he can't get there, and the hit for Lane continues. So their half of the eighth opens with a man aboard. Well, here they go again. Another base hit. This one leading off the inning here late in the game. But they put together some base hits, but haven't been able to get that big hit to drive in the run. Into the box, Carlos Reyes. And he's first pitch swinging here as he lines this one into left field for the base hit. 
back-to-back -back hits, and now they're in a position to break this inning open. You can bunt, you can hit and run, you can do a lot of things now to take the lead and really put some pressure on the defense. Stepping in now, Owen Lamb, as he gets a good curveball here to start the at-bat. It's strike one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Oh one, here's the pitch. The knee buckler, and he swings and misses at it. He's in a tough spot right now, 0-2. This is one of those at-bats. You look back and you go, I got to get the man over. But now 0-2, he's just got to try to make contact now. Here it comes on nothing and two. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. For my money, there's nothing better than a three-pitch see you later. Well, look here. He gets him on his heels with strike one, up against the ropes with strike two, and then he KOs him on pitch number three. Love it. Standing in now, Will Nixon. He swings and runs it to short. And the throw will go to second as they get the force out. That was kind of a high degree of difficulty play that time. You see the off-balance throw to second base, and he couldn't get a lot on it, but they did get the out. Into the box now, Rich. Cedeno as he'll take one up in the zone but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike so far two for three in this one hoping to keep it tied here it comes and boy they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there and it's 0-2 now in a big spot like this you have to be looking for something you can handle. That pitch bunched him up completely. So I think he's trying to do a little bit too much right now. Here's a line drive into center field. It's a base hit. And the go ahead run will score from third as they've taken the lead here in the late going. Well, that's a huge base hit. Anytime you get a hit late in the game to give you the lead the ball game, you feel good about yourself. And his teammates are pumped up as well. In now, Tommy Brown. Oh, and here's a fastball right down the middle of the plate that swung on and hit out to deep left field. And this one's not coming back. This is a long home run. So a three-run blast to straightaway left as they open it up to 6-2 to two now. What a piece of clutch hitting. This team is holding on to a slim lead, and he blows this thing wide open with a three-run blast. That could be the nail in the coffin. <laughs> Stepping in now, Corey Lovett. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. Tejeda coming in. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. But four runs score in the inning. Three coming right here on the three-run home run. Ninth inning coming up. It's now six to two. Into the box now, Rodney Leading Schmidt. No hits in three tries Third so baseman. far. He's struck out Rodney once. Schmidt. Into the windup and the pitch. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. 
objective number one right here is finding a way to get on base. So I'm not surprised to see him taking on the first pitch there. Yeah, and he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. I got to say, his command of the corners in this start has been pretty exceptional. He's mixed <laughs> east and west really well, and it's a big reason why he's had success. And he takes strike three cold on the fastball. One gone. The batter, number four, designated hitter, Rich Tippett. Digging in the switch hitter, Rich Tippett. Now here it comes. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. One out, nobody on. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. He's really put himself now in a position where he's got to battle. Took the first two strikes, didn't swing, and now he just grind out the A-B. <clears throat> Lifted in the air out towards left center. Brown is in pursuit. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. Striding in, Thomas Good. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now a swing, and he pops him up. And this should do it. Cedeno ranging into the outfield. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Hey, listen, in baseball, we don't see very many complete games any longer because of pitch counts. But listen, he was good from the first inning through the ninth. Well-deserved complete game victory. And tonight's ends at a 6-2 finish. The Midland Rockhounds brought the bats in this one with 18 total hits. So that's a wrap here tonight. Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, thanking you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. Have a great night. Well, anyway, guys, that is the ball game. The Midland Rockhounds took their first win, 6-2 over the San Antonio Mission. Player of the game goes to Felix Guillen. Losing pitcher goes to Bobby Corey. And this is the 2018 <clears throat> season opener. Don't forget the second game of this three-game series with the San Antonio Missions will be starting tomorrow night at 7.05. So anyway, we thank you all for tuning in to Minor League Baseball, the show. For the Midland Rockhounds, this bud goes to you. And for tonight's first season win. Anyway, drive home safe. And we will see you guys back tomorrow for the second game of this three-game series between the visiting San Antonio Missions. <clears throat>